Hi, my name's Sophia. So I've done another video and I forgot to pull out additional cards at the end. So I'm just going to jump in with the cards to see if I get a different energy in this reading. Let's see what's going on. I'm kind of getting, um, well, I'm getting straight away uh, contemplating again. But the bottom of the deck is the Sun card. So there's something to do with your happiness. <laughs> Sun card is twin flame happiness. It's like the planet is trying to make it fair for you both to be happy. It's like the divine masculine knows what to do to come towards you to be, go with your happiness. They know that, but the divine feminine isn't happy. So this is to do with happiness. Anyway, so let's let's jump in. Yeah, look, happiness and bliss. Can you see that? <clears throat> I can't see it because I need my glasses on. So let's jump in and I'll pull out the additional cards, which I forgot to pull out my other reading. <laughs> Sun card, Ace of Pentacles and the Moon. Then these two come out in the other reading, but let's see if I pick it up differently. Sun and the moon again, right? Was that the sun and the moon in the last reading? Yeah. This is twin flame counterparts to be stable. It's the same, but kind of different. But let's see. I feel this is like your person. Twin flame one. This could be energetically trying to pull you back or physically with the Ace of Pentacles next to it. Trying to be fun and cheer, cheery as well. Some of you, not always. That's mm. Yeah, what that's what I'm getting with this with the this reading. It's they're trying to pull you back because how are they doing that if you're not con connecting with them physically definitely energetically is what i'm getting they know you're pulling away to go towards something physical and you have another twin flame or they presume you have because they know you have a strong connection with them. So if you haven't spoken to your person for a while or you're not bothered reaching out or you've blocked them or something, it's like as if your twin flame is energetically feeling the discord and they know that you had a strong connection with them. So by you energetically, by you disconnecting, they feel it and they are knowing that you're with someone else because... What else would be for you to pull away from your person than to meet someone else as passionate and with that connection as you did with them? It's like they know that you wouldn't have stopped subconsciously, not even subconscious, kind of knowing, but that not really putting the dots to pull it together, that you wouldn't have stopped with that person. Like, um, if you listen to me, for years, I kept saying, Dave is my person. Dave is my person. I'll do fucking everything to nail that, that person, right? To nail his ass. It's like they knew that with, with you. So you've gone and it's like, what's happened? You must have met someone else. Yeah, they're in the dark to... Hmm. Is, I'm getting a couple of groups here. So some of them is in the dark to what to do next and they're getting the strength to go down the correct path. And that means leaving a third party, regardless of what the... It's like as if there's two sides to the third party here. It's like... I was going to say Gemini. Ge Ge Gemini characteristics in star sign which doesn't mean it's correct right but is to be known as jackal and hide sometimes a positive what so one minute happy and then one minute shitty 
And I said, I'm not saying that because astrology is so deep and complex. It's not always. I mean, because they say Taurus is stubborn. I'm like, no, Taurus to me, well, I, would, I don't see myself as stubborn. I'm like, it's a contradiction because Taurus is supposed to be the ones that are staying in relationships the longest. I'm like, so how can they be fucking stubborn? That's why I don't go on the astrology because that's not stubbornness, isn't it? If they're most the person that stays with in relationships the longest. But this is something, back to the card, with your person is like not taking the risk because not sure if the person's going to flip out about you with this moon card here. Yeah, I did show you the cards. Or they're going to be okay with it. But that's not good, is it? It's like, but what if they're okay with it? They're just focusing on, oh, well, they might flip out. That's what I'm getting with the moon card. So they're not opening up and keeping this person in the dark about you. But I feel this person knows. Because, like I said, they've ener you've energetically pulled. If you've come away from your person, they know you're not interested. That energetic discord, they know you've changed. That person, the third party, knows that this person has changed because you've changed. Right? That's how energy rolls, right? The snowball effect. So the third party, say you're with a twin flame. You've pulled away from the twin flame because they're not moving forward. The third party knows that you they are now interested in someone else because this charade, this this darkness, it's like they've changed because you've changed. So that then the third party can see the change. I'm getting about third party here. You've stopped with that person. with what I'm with love whatever that kind of way you was doing it so now this is about your person to take the strength to go down the path yeah the tower's crumbling tower cards in the moon card you see the twin towers in the moon card and the t twin tap whoops I've got it the wrong way so it's got to be here twin towers crumbled actually got blown up so there's something that's going to get blown up to your person, right? It's like as if... I, I don't know how, but it's in the dark. It's a moon card. But your person's person could be watching you and watching your person. And so they know that they're energetically pulling away from them. Yeah, your person's like... Have you been in a relationship and you just know that it's ending or it's ended out or that your person's not interested anymore? It's kind of like that, but third party is seeing it that way. It's that, that's what I'm getting with the moon. And it's like as if, because underneath the moon is a magician card. Like I said, I've been saying in my readings about magician a lot. It's like you've manifested right, this snowball effect through going on to the third party. And why that is, is because the third party is so focused on you. It's like there's a crossroads here, and it's like your person has been placed at the crossroads, which we kind of know. And that's what I'm getting with this moon card. The moon card is very important. But the moon card is the shadow, the darkness, the fear. The fear of, it It could be called fear of commitment, but it's not like they're scared of committing to you. It's scared of committing to you because of what will be the, rep, is it repercussions? I can't say that word. The shit, <laughs> I can say that, will happen from other people. So 
fear of commitment, you could kind of call it that, but it's not. If they weren't worried about other people, that's why five of wands, three of cups, it's coming up in my readings, they would be committed to you. There wouldn't be a problem you've seen their kids. They would be. There's some, well, that's part of it. So it's like they're at the crossroads now of, okay, what do I do? And I feel just like you, you ain't going back to that twin flame one. Unless there's a change. And I feel that your person ain't going back to that marriage or baby's mum, baby's dad, whatever. But the moon card here, they're still there. It's the darkness is here. So this is like your person could be married to someone. And before you thought they might get back with them. You, you never know, right? Because if they say, oh, well, don't love them and all this kind of thing, it's like, yeah, whatever, you would have left. Now, it's like, you know they're not going to get back with them. They're just there just because. That's what I'm getting with the moon card. So it's now for them, it's like it's, they've woken up and it's like living with someone, you're married to them and it's like, listen, we need to get a divorce and do this. Is that final stage is what I'm getting here. Instead of just living there for 10 years and just, uh, well, you know, another year after, year after year and just not really. Connected with them. The feminine's you that's watching, man or woman. Wants stability with the Ace of Pentacles is what I'm getting. And it's with someone else if it's not with your twin flame. Underneath Four of Pentacles, the Chariot, the ma Magician card. You're holding back on Twin Flame One. You're looking shit hot. This one's looking all sexy, right? Looking shit hot. Doing your 3D job. This always reminds me of kind of 3D um, solicitors and all that kind of. I don't know why I'm getting that. Some legal jobs or whatever, right? Um, secretary, that kind of 3D job. Probably going out partying, but definitely looking fucking good, right? But holding back on your twin flame. The chariot is by you doing that, that is pushing it forward. For you to get what you really want from which twin flame that ever comes in with the first card the sun card because as within you're reflecting as what you want be as without because before when you was meeting your person and i don't like to give the example of david but i did for years of it being amazing so negative and positive it's like as i say i was with him for years but that was focused on the physical. Energetically, my inner child wasn't getting nurtured because I wanted it to move more into the physical. So inside wasn't being nurtured. It was more physical. So now that I've actually gone within with the principal laws of cause and effect with the, the chariot as above, so below, as within, so without, now it's affecting my physical properly that I'm bringing into my reality another twin flame or someone else that I can be as passionate as about at like a twin flame. My card has the children holding hands with the lamaskate. And do you see the guy behind, the little boy behind, the girls in front? And it's like I said, he's pulling on you, right? With the rays of the sun energetically. Because you're holding back, they're underneath each other. And you see, this is the sun here. <clears throat> you're focused, you're holding back because you're uh, focused on the sun. I think this is, uh, is that Capricorn? I can't remember. You're controlling your reality here. But unfortunately, if I'm interested. I was asking him about that, but I had so many things come up today. But how's this going to work out? It's like they're focused at the moment, the planets, the sun and the moon here, um, about you getting your person. Because that's all the twin flame feminines, particularly, it's gone dark, particularly talk about, oh, um, 
well, it's not talk about, it's like I'm not getting into mission and I'm not doing no proper healing or working on myself and releasing negativity or any of that fuckeries that you keep talking about, Sophia, because of um, I ain't got my person anyway. So why should I? Right? It's all right for you, Sophia. You had David all the time. Yeah, all the time I had David. I did work on myself. I did build a community. I did build programs. I worked on a sexual abuse, abandonment. I keep harping on about my daughter's issue with her dad. I'd done all that work whilst with him, right? I met him. As soon as I met him, I had the download to do it. Do you lot think I'd done it because I was with him? Because I met him, then I had the downloads to do the work such as you. I'm no different than you. So this time, like, the planet's just like, well, the families ain't getting it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in this new person because you keep blaming Twin Flame number one. We're going to bring in number two, number three, whatever. We're bringing in a new passionate person for you. We're sorting out to get this relationship on some kind of stability. Then, like I said, then I feel, what's the next step? Will it be you're not fulfilled? They're not, they're not uh, coming towards you properly? I don't know. That's when I think this, okay, now you've got your person, now you've got to do the work, now you've got to do mission. But I don't know how that's unfolding, but I think that's what's coming next. There's going to be something, because it's like, I've got my twin flame, but there's going to be a but, right? Because you haven't done the work within with the chariot here. And this is about manifestation. It's like you ain't worked on your shadow. Well, you, you focused on love with the sun card. This is you, right? You focused on love with the sun card. But you haven't done the shadow work. So you're going to manifest something from your shadow within. It might be like with me, with David. It might be until you're worked on your, your... You might manifest like how I was with David for years. Like I had David. I don't like to say had or have because he's not an object. That's what I mean. But... Um, I had David for years and we were like known as a couple, but it was in the dark. So you might say, yeah, I've got my person, but still no one knows about me not telling people, blah, blah, blah. That's what I feel is the next step with you lot until you do the moon card, the shadow work. The moon is a shadow. And this is about, you're still deceiving yourself because of everyone saying, you got two options. You got three options. You got this other person, blah, blah, blah. The moon, if you do like, you know, a duck or something like that, a rabbit on the wall it, it, with a shadow, if you do that in the dark with on the shadow, it will look like rabbit ears or something like that, you know, do a duck face on the wall uh, with your hand. It will look like a rabbit or something like that, but it's not a fucking rabbit. What I'm trying to say, it's your fingers. So there's a delusion. You're manifesting your person coming towards you the delusion, but you're not doing your shadow work. So you're thinking it's coming into your reality, your twin flame is as it is, because they're offering you something to the feminine that is massive, massive pentacle, a massive new beginning. But like I said, there's still going to be something dark about it. Until you work on the shadow feminines. And, and what I'm getting, I'll say it again, is I'll repeat, is something like, and it don't mean, I've got to make this clear, that they're dark. It's like something like how it was with me, with David. It's not, there's something going to be like, mm, something's not missing, it's not proper, still not a proper relationship, something like that. Because you're still holding back, you're still 3D. That don't look like mission, does it? That looks like, that's what I said with this card here. It's like offices, secretary, look, look, showing off the houses. It reminds me of where I used to live with my daughter and my husband. That's how the town, how it used to look. Everyone, you know, all the, everything looks the same. The Mrs. Joneses. So it kind of reminds me of, sorry if it's blurred, because uh, my eyes are blurred, so I can't fucking tell if it's blurred or not. <laughs> Saving next year. I don't know saving. I've got to check the prices. I'm going to get my eyes done for New Year. This card keeps coming out. Speaking of goggles. Ah, just say hi. Time to reach out. A confidence boost is needed for you or your person. 
but remember have no expectation from your person of reply I feel that your person, like I said with this first card, they're trying to get you back or keep you or something like that. You see, the, like I said, the boy is trying to hold the girl from going forward. The actuality of the card, I said to the artist to make it as a lamisgate because they're holding each other's hand, you know, that lamisgate. Right. Uh, um, so it's trying to keep you energetically tied to this twin flame connection with the lamisgate. Right. Wanting to keep as within, because the Lamaskate is as within, so without. That's why the Lamaskate is so connected with Twin Flames. Mr. Kwan. <clears throat> His dog's ill. He was going to pass today, but his puppy is not well, been sick. So he's, he, he said he's not passing. <clears throat> Let me cut that off so it don't keep beeping. All right. So I feel with this, don't re, uh, reach out and just say hi. Your person may reach out or something like that. This side kind of energetically reaching out, if not in the physically reaching out, just saying hi. But it's just saying hi. It's weird. It's like as if, <laughs> why am I getting that? It's like as if they reach out and they're different, but you don't know they're different. Because it's like she's this mask has been removed. But the moon card's here. It's like... I'll give an example. Before they reach out and they say hi, because this is just say hi, time to reach out. They reach out and they say, oh, hi, how's you before? And they wasn't really fully in love with you. This time they reach out, hi, how's you? And they're fully in love with you. They know you're the one, you, they know you're the twin flame, your deep connection. How do you know the difference with the moon card? That's what I feel. There's a change, but it's just like, that's why it's got the, but remember, have no expectation from your person of a reply. What I, why I'm saying that is like, you still don't have no expectation because they haven't really said anything yet. Oh, let me pause this. Sorry, I had to reply, I just realised. But anyway, because I saw the text. It might go off. I need to keep my phone on, I don't care. I need to. You are my star that outshines all the others. Sun, moon, star. So... Definitely the planets are working on your person to understand that you are my star. Just wishing and hoping that things are going to happen don't mean it's going to fucking happen. It's like as if they're seeing that. It's like there's a 3D element here of, yeah, um, hoping, wishing, praying, trying to manifest you back towards them. And it's like, it ain't working, is it? Because you have to be practical, right? You have to go get them, be practical about it. That's what I'm getting with this. So they're learning that they have to do that. You are my star that outshines all the others. Well, you know that you have to, you really want that person to so go get them. I never meant to hurt you. It's like that, I keep talking about this lately, I need to get the word, I think it's called omission. It's not, not telling someone something, it's, it's not lying to the person, so you think you're not hurting that person. That's with this, I never meant to hurt you, but you fucking are, right? If you're holding back something, they feel it's not bad because it's not hurting you by not telling the baby's mom about you, baby's dad about you. And it's like, so I didn't mean to hurt you, but you're like, it does hurt me, mate. You're not telling them. Just because it's not, you're not coming and punching me in the face, just because you think it don't, it's not a big deal, you're still hurting me. 
and that's this this is like they don't intentionally but still this is about having empathy on the other person's feelings that's what i feel with the moon card connected with your person is about they've got to stop logicating here because they need to see it from your perspective they just see it like it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense and i'm like it doesn't matter if it makes sense some things don't make sense but some things you've just got to see it from that person's perspective regardless right does it make sense why my daughter's not fucking here right i'll keep going over it i was with him for 10 years it's just like to me i know it's nothing to do with you lot but it's like i was it's like i was with him for 10 years right within a year I got married so i was married for nine years and it's like someone saying to me you know he was a mass murderer i had no indication that he would just nick my daughter no indication and but i have to work on why he done it right it's nothing to do it doesn't matter how i can keep getting my brain can't logicate it but then the only way to logicate it is that's why we have emotions with the moon card here is for me to emotionally put myself into his perspective of why he would do it most people kids go with the mum and he knew how fucking amazing i was up my ass don't care and that she would be more connected with me. And the possibility of him sliding away from her. He had no one. Right? His world was his daughter. Right? My world was travel, fun times. You know, I'm not into school so much and all that. But so I so I had to put my mind about it. Around what he saw. So that's why he took her. And why I'm going into my shit. As I always do that's what this planet with the sun moon star here is trying to teach your person don't matter what you think you must get into another person's perspective and see it because you hurt them with it doesn't uh, mean to hurt you here i want to love you but i don't know how they love you it's not that I, they want to they love you but they don't know how to do it with the third party like did i say in this reading it's not like they don't know how to commit they know they it's like um, they love you, but uh, fear of commitment. It's fear of commitment because of the other person. They don't know how to love you because of someone else. The planets are saying, you just love that person, go for that person. I'm so sorry I hurt you, please forgive me. Look, I never meant to hurt you. I'm so sorry I hurt you, please forgive me. Like I said, this is about the planet saying, stop fucking being selfish and looking at it from your point of view because it's logicated it doesn't make any sense for me to tell baby's mum it's fine how it is you know she seems happy he seems happy seeing me whilst i'm married to someone else or connected to someone else as i'm married right she's telling you he's telling you they don't like it that's what you go off that person not of what you think should be fine you're in a relationship together if not and that's why they're energetically pulling you back. If not, you'll get someone else. And this person, look, she's, she, uh, to me, she's moving on. You're moving on to go get someone else unless this changes. All right, then. So I'm going to leave that there. <coughs> Check out my other video here or here. <laughs> and join the Facebook group as well. I keep saying, right? Loads, loads, loads of stuff that's in there as well. And don't forget, you need counselling with this. The shadow work you need to work on. I already said that with this reading. There's shadow you need to do. It's coming. It's like you're just going to get your twin flame and it's something that's dark. It's like you're going to be depressed. You're going to be unhappy. There's something that's coming, right? That's coming. It's like, oh, fuck, yeah, I've got my twin flame, but there's a butt to it, right? And butt is ass. So there's some shit coming with this, right? <laughs> Speak to you later.